G'day folks, just a really quick video to, today to explain pressure points and how valuable they are uh, to fish. Up on the screen right now we've got a very basic example of probably one of the most common types of pressure points you'll find out on the water. On the screen it's moving from left to right, okay, and it's coming from very deep, sort of 20 meters sort of plus on the screen, and it's being pushed up against a nice big steep ledge and spilling into you know five less than five meters of water and what you find is a real pressure point sort of forms up the top these are prime spots to fish because as the water is being pushed up or being pushed down for that matter if it was going the other way uh, so too does a lot of bait and particles in the water and things like that. So predators like to hang out around these areas as they make good ambush points and the more bait that sort of gets pushed up on that ledge, they don't have much room to sort of escape. They're competing against the current flow and all those sorts of things and the fast predators like to just go in there and smash them. Here's another example, uh, a little bit more complex where we'd probably have a couple of pressure points sorting, starting to form. So we've got water moving from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, and it's got a, you know, it's finding the path of least resistance. So it's moving a, uh, moving past this structure, which is all the sort of brown stuff on the screen. So it's 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 moving rather fast from top to bottom, but along the edge of that fast water, um, we've got upwelling like what we had in the previous diagram, where it's coming from deep to shallow to get over those rocks. Um, and it's also pushing up against that structure on the left hand side so there's a line there indicating where a pressure line would actually form and usually behind that because it's not wrapping all the way around we'd find some nice still water a bit of an eddy so this is another prime ambush spot for predators who'd be hanging back in the deeper water and as they see bait get pushed up either up, up against those rocks or up against that pressure line the bait will be sort of not wanting to go that way because they know they're going to run out of room to run away uh, and the predators want to push them into that sort of situation so they can smash them up. So here's a, a much more complex real life example of what I've been talking about. Okay, so in this example, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but we've actually got a pressure line form right in front of us and it's marked about there, okay? And we've got a couple of things actually occurring on the screen right now. First things first, we've got some shallow rocks over in this particular area. So you can see a little bit of rough water sort of forming on the right hand side of the screen. And I'll just mark that with this red patch. So the water behind it is quite deep. It's being pushed up like what we saw in our first diagram so coming from say 20 meters up to about five meters everything's being pushed up and over those rocks all right so it's a real pressure point on top of those rocks and then it's spilling around this point and there's fast water still moving around this point uh, indicated by the dotted line it's also spilling into the bottom of the screen the bottom of the screen is actually quite shallow so it's all moving up from the top of the screen, flooding to the bottom of the screen. A really important thing to notice is just over here you can see the still water, a bit of an eddy sort of forming. And that really tells you something's happening below the surface. Okay, so there's a pressure point there. Water's being pushed up and into this shallow area and it's moving fast on the other side of that along the ledge. So that's a real indicator when you're sort of just getting around in your boat that there's something happening underneath and it's well worth running your sounder over. That makes this area here in the middle a prime target to throw a lure. Okay. Predators will be hanging around in that area looking for bait schools that are going to come past and get pushed right up against that ledge and the bait fish are either going to spill or they're going to have to uh, go a different direction and the, bait, and the predators love to smash them up there and this is what happens when you throw a lure uh, into that area. You get all sorts of predators hanging around.
there you go folks, I'm all done. I hope you found this very short video useful in some way. If you did, please remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the latest updates from my YouTube channel. Remember to look us up on Facebook and hit the like button. And as always, I really do hope to see you out on the water.